after the Dallas Stars lost to the Tampa Bay Lightning in the 2020 Stanley Cup Finals. The light in the tunnel was looking dim, an aging roster, some young talent, and a window of opportunity that just seemed to be closing. But as Martin Luther King Jr. stated, only in darkness can you see the stars. He clearly must have been foreshadowing the Dallas Stars' new blackout jerseys this season and just how appealing they are on the ice. If you wanted to talk about eye candy, however, allow us to introduce to you Jason. Jason Robertson. While his name may be basic, his arsenal of skills and hockey IQ is beyond that. After being drafted way back in the second round of the 2017 NHL entry draft, JR has finally emerged in Dallas, Texas. If it was goals or assists you were looking for, we found you the guy. If it was setting up Captain Jamie Benz OT winner against the Canes, his one-time snipe against Detroit, or his countless efforts of putting the Stars ahead or opening the scoring just 60 seconds in, he's been a huge piece to the Stars' puzzle this season. For anyone who has kept up with the 2021 NHL season, the Calder Trophy watch for Rookie of the Year has been primarily on Minnesota's own Kirill Kaprizov. While it seemed almost impossible to utter another name in the same sentence as Carell, Jason Robertson has shown himself worthy. In all honesty, Carell is 24 and has already a well-established KHL career, while Jason just turned 21 and has started his young career just recently. We aren't saying anything, but we are saying something. Robertson currently has found himself as the dark horse for Rookie of the Year in the NHL and has not seen face by it at all. As Coach Rick Bound has stated, Listen, brother, he's an offensive player, talented, and very confident in his abilities, brother. Where are you going to be when Jason Robinson comes knocking on your front door, chasing you in the Calder Trophy rankings? Jason's mindsets and abilities on the ice really make him a standout and assertive player every single night. He shows up and is yet to let one teammate or fan down. He may be the most loved Dallas star since Sagan or Doby. If you are not buying into the Robertson sweepstakes just yet, a notable statistic is the Dallas Stars are a team of defense. Playing in the defensive system, if anything, has slowed down Jason's point production. If he was a member of a more offensive field team like the Toronto Maple Leafs or Tampa Bay Lightning, who knows how many points the young star would have at this point in the shortened season. More importantly, he's adapted, he's fit the system, and has flourished like the Dallas Arboretum and Botanical Gardens. A point-per-game player is what we have here, folks. If he can average this kind of success and attention in only his first NHL season, imagine what he will do in his pride. Well, if you enjoyed this video, brother, please Hulk smash that like button, brother, and we'll see you next week. Where are you going to be when Bench Kings drops a load of dope-ass content right on your doorstep, brother? We'll see you next time, brother.